guys, it's Mix here. Hope you're doing well. I am doing wonderfully, thank you. We are going to continue some Corpse Party Blood Drive today. Let's move on with Chapter 9. Only one chapter left after this one. There are ten chapters in total. There are the extra chapters, which, if we do do, will be in videos at the end. Um, a lot of people were complaining it was taking away from the plot, and I must admit, I was getting confused, and reading for 45 minutes is quite exhausting with absolutely no gameplay. So, we're going to continue with this. The way I'm doing it, because I enjoy it this way myself as well, and I think the majority of people enjoy it too. Okay. What is this? How has the school completely changed like this? The Diviner's encroachment is growing by the moment. We have no idea what's going to happen next. You will need to be on your guard. If we can track down this Sachi, we should be able to figure out where Yuka is too. Right, let's hurry up and find her. We'll save you, Yuka. I swear it. What's this? Those holes look fairly ominous, so I'm going to avoid... Okay. Right. I just went straight into that like a fucking idiot. Save point. I like save points. They restore health. Which makes things a lot easier. Oh, the save logo for this chapter is Sachi's little face. <clears throat> so this is... Is he... I don't actually know where the air... Is that near the custodian's closet? The air raid thing? The air raid shelter, the underground shelter thing that Yuke is in? I head that way anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, you know, life goes on. That's how how you deal with things. Oh, another talisman? Awesome. I don't know if that's floor or not, but I'm going to avoid going near it at all costs. Okay. Anything mean going to be here? There is this fucking phantom. It's gonna come after me, isn't it? Can't see where it's gone, damn it. It's this way to the Cascadia's closet, right? Don't step on that. This is it, right? Yes. Or my game crashed. That's the other option. Hang on, this isn't... No, this isn't the custodian... What the fuck is going on? Miss Corn glanced at the watch on her left wrist. The digits displayed on it were counting down. That old bomb shelter. It was this bay before, right? Well, I had the general area, I guess, but this isn't the custodian's closet. Yeah. And this door... Is the same one I saw in my vision. Oh yeah, I forgot about that bit. The girl in black, Sachi, she ripped the boards from it with her bare hands and went inside. After that, everything went dark, and that's where the vision ended. Let's head in there. Hurring! 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 Hurring. Kishinuma, are you worried about Shinazaki? Yeah. It's very kind of you to show such concern for Yuka Machida and join us in our efforts, but I assure you, we're fine. Won't you please head back? No. She's okay. You guys aren't okay? The screen shaking, with no sound effects. Gah! Another earthquake? Gah! Gah! The Nirvana is expanding and the school is straining under the pressure. The Sephirot of Knowledge is very close to activating. Can you stop it, Agimi? That which resides in the Nirvana's core is most likely something beyond the scope of human understanding. She's tougher than people give up her credit for. She's got more guts than this school. Mm, that's debatable. The school's got quite a lot of guts. Strewn around it in various unpleasant places. You know? So I'm going to keep believing in her. You're right. 
Miss Kwan matched Kishinumi's smile. Let's go then, we have to stay sharp here as well. Don't tell me twice. Can't believe we're gonna face off something. Can't believe we're gonna face off against somebody even more dangerous than Sachiko. But whatever it takes, right? That's right. Yeah! Haven't seen Psycho in this game. Wonder if she's gonna show up. I might have missed a cutscene or some shit though, that's entirely possible. Alright, Psycho. Oh yeah, two useless characters. <coughs> Lovely! Sexy vomit. Are you alright, Ayumi? The book. If I don't have the book, I... Well, Ayumi, grab onto my shoulder, okay? Oh, okay, well we're playing... Hang on, there you go. I'm not gonna play as Ayumi here because she's fucking useless. Alright, well, he died somewhere in this building. It wasn't on the ground floor, so it's going to be on the second or first floor where Misuto died. So let's head there. What's with these? It's like magma is flowing beneath our feet. I don't know. We're going to be fine, though, you know? We're going to we're gonna get through here. Okay. God, I just... This is like fucking... Running a marathon. This staircase is just needlessly tall. It's just like... Um, so how can we uh, make the game needlessly long? Um, by adding in a massive fucking staircase. And making it so the characters drop lungs after about seven seconds. Yeah, it sounds great. It sounds... Sounds, sounds numb. Sounds great. Okay. So we've got to figure out where the fuck... I can't actually remember where the fuck we are now. So what floor is this that we go out on here? Should be a save point here, right? Oh no, this cool change shape. Fuck! Oh no, there is a save point still here. I'm not sure, like, how... I can't, I can't remember where anything is. Oh god, okay. I guess that's where we're meant to be. Awesome. Thank you, Eiko. I'm feeling a little more orientated now. I can walk on my own. And she immediately dies. There's something wrong with this score, isn't there? I wonder what's going on. There's something wrong with this score. Yeah, something's off. Where did Misuto run off to? I need to retrieve the book from him right away. Or something terrible will happen. Ayumi Shinazaki? Oh, for fuck's sake, what the fuck are you doing? Well, we know you're here already. Megari? Aha, so you lost the book and reverted back to an ordinary human being once more, have you? I could kill you so very easily now, you know? She's such a lovely character, you know? No need to be on edge. Here, I've got your book of shadows back. It really is. I tried to grab it, Magari pulled it away at the last moment, as if taunting me. I told you before, I was ordered to retrieve this. The plan was to guide you from the shadows and steal the book as soon as you got out hold, hold of it. Really, I'm no better than Masuto. I am, without a doubt, your enemy. You really should kick that nasty habit of trusting people so easily. No. Though, there is one difference between that wretch and me. I'm hoping to see a little bit more from you. Ideally, I'd like to see if someone else will be born into this world who won't bore me to tears. Kind of like Naho was. This is the thing Naho always wore. Oh, it's like a head, uh, head hairpin, right? That's right, it's a barrette. I found her body in the custodian's closet. Let me see that, Ayumi. I need to touch it. Aiko snatched the hair clip from my hands. Naho, can you hear me, Naho? Aiko closed her eyes and put the item next to her ear, but after a few moments of silence, she started to break down. <laughs> she hugged the star and began to cry. Aiko? It's a spirit item. Aiko told you about those, didn't she? 
Articles belonging to the spiritually gifted, like Naho, often trap their spirits and serve as vessels for communication. Anyway, here. She actually gave it back to us. You're the only one who can make full use of it, so you can have it, for now. Though search for me whenever I'm doing you a favour- Oh, fuck's sake, I skipped. You don't know the history of the book, right? Like how it was born. Yeah, I heard about it from Sis. Well, you're not going to have to confront and seal away the Nirvana itself. I guess, in other words, you'll be pulling the core of the book, its very will, back into its pages. It all began with genocide of a certain group 300 years ago, with the souls of the witches who were massacred in that famous witch hunt. Legend has it they communed with the devil and gained an immeasurable power to curse the world that had betrayed them. And you're going to have to stand face to face with that power. Best case scenario, you'll go totally bonkers, but I doubt you'll get off that easily. Of course, if you fail, the Nirvana will spread and the world as we know it will be finished. So, good luck, I guess. I'll pray for your success in getting the call back into the book. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, bitch. Oh, one more thing, though. You'll probably already realise this, but this dimension isn't the heavenly host any longer. It's now a physical manifestation of the curse from within the Book of Shadows. No clue what's going to happen in here, so careful now. Magari, you're still our enemy, right? So why are you helping us? Because everything got fucked up. Pud, you saw all those red magic symbols drawn over the score? Those were black magic spells created by members of my order. They came here of their own accord without being ordered to boo by any of the elite like me. And every single one of them got killed off for their troubles. They were literally in pieces by the time I got here. Like I said, fucked up, right? It pisses me the hell off. The elders sent me here to investigate, but then they went and sent in another investigation team behind my back as well. The old hag who founded the Martubas has clearly lost her marbles. And because of that, the black magic in here has been boosted out of control. Sachi and the Nirvana have reacted to it and got berserk. And now guess what? End of the fucking world. It was a lot more fun when I was going up against you three. You, Sayaka, and Naho. I'm thinking it's about time I leave that shit for brains order once and for all. Anyway, I still have some things to clean up, so this is goodbye for now. Ask the book how to go about meeting the Nirvana, though. It's in the centre of this world. This is my responsibility. You stay here, Aiko. Are you sure you shouldn't wait for Kishinuma and the others? I'm sure. There's more than, they're more, this, more than anything, is a situation I don't want them getting involved in. I don't know if they were here, they'd insist on getting involved. You need to meet up with everyone else and get out. Tell them I have the Book of Shadows. So it'll be fine. So I'll be fine. No. I'm coming with you, Ayumi. Why, it's going to be really dangerous from this point on. Didn't you hear what Magari was saying? It's the first favour my sister ever asked of me, and I don't want to let her down. But... I'm coming with you whether you like it or not, so don't argue with me. Alright, I'm going to leave a note then. The Nirvana is not nearby. Will you guide us to it? It must be in the main building. Come on! Alright, well I guess that's where we're headed. There's something on the floor here. Steel axe obtained. Okay. Guess we're going to the main building. Oh fuck, there's a fucking... Oh, don't come down here, don't come down here, don't come down here. Now we enter. Are we gonna die in the locker? Please fuck off. Go, go, go. We're getting through this. What's this? Talisman, great. We need that. Get rid of this. We go down a floor and we're at the entrance. Oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> I fucked.
fucked up. At least I got the fucking talisman, I guess. Jesus Christ. So don't step on anything at all. This should be the main floor, right? I think? I hope? Really hope so, that'd be good. Not my day today, with running into shit. Yeah, this is it. We're going back to the main entrance. And we only got roped by two tentacles. So that's absolutely fine. You know, Amy. Don't really know where I'm going, but uh, we'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out. I guess we'll just explore everywhere and try and find the, uh, the fucking Nirvana. I mean, that makes sense, you know? Makes perfect sense to me. Find the fucking Nirvana. Naomi, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's psycho. Naomi, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. They just had to bring back that line. They're well aware that line is fucked. Shinohara? No one was there. But farther back in the hall, I heard the sound of someone running. Oh, do we have to explore and look for her? What's wrong, Amy? I just heard a friend's voice. Yeah, I'm not sure if Psycho is going to be... Okay, we'll just go this way and just explore everywhere, I guess. This should be the main entrance still, unless... Mind you, they say everything's changed. It seems to be the same... What the fuck? Where are we? It's Makina Shinazaki's room. What? But we were just in the skull. Okay, I didn't expect this. The Nirvana is melting pot for the thoughts and feelings of many different kinds of people. And when the connections among closed spaces get twisted, these sorts of things do happen. But simply, you can think of it like a kind of spirit barrier. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I guess we're gonna explore her apartment. None of this looks particularly inviting. I'm not sure I want to fuck with anything in here. Oh, great. Stomach splayed open and body stabbed repeatedly by living anatomical model. How do you know it's specifically the anatomical model? You know? Let's save point here. Oh, that's the toilet where you uh, had your adventure right at the beginning of the game, Mayumi. Do you remember? A little toilet adventure. Let's go and have a toilet adventure again together, shall we? Oh, fuck. There's something drawn on the blackboard. This doesn't look nom. I mean, this looks like fucking... Really shit. <laughs> it's a picture of three hand corpses. From left to right, they appear to be a king, a soldier, and a commoner. I guess that's a reference to something. Oh, I left my Skype on. But you can't hear that in this recording, fortunately, I don't think. Still acts obtained. And if you can, I apologize wholeheartedly. Okay. So, does this go back to the school now, or what? Or are we in the apartment again? Okay, great. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're... But... We were just here, like, ten seconds ago. Like... Wait... Okay. I guess we follow the psycho thing. Oh, 
Although, is that right? You know what I mean? I don't know. Should I explore? I don't really know what to do, you know what I mean? Like, everything seems like a fucking... Blech. Blech. See what? Let's fucking, um... I don't fucking know what I'm doing here. I guess that picture is relevant to something, but I don't know what. I guess... I'm so confused. So we've got to find something to do with that painting we found on the wall in the apartment? I guess? Right? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just uh, let's just explore a bit and see what we find. There's this here. Let's go this way. What what can it hurt, huh? I guess like I let us the weird apartment in the painting, but I don't fucking know. Um, this isn't right, right? What the fuck is happening? The layout's completely fucked. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. Okay. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. Ah! I guess this is the genocide. Two voices. One of them was angry, judgmental male voice, while the other was female. Unfortunately, the only entrances into the room were all sealed shut. The doors were affixed to the wall like models. They showed no indication that they were ever meant to be opened. I hear someone in there. Someone's still alive, maybe. It could easily be a trap, though. Still. Alright, well, there's a save point here. It's probably going to be a trap, and we're probably going to die. But, um... Well, we can't go in this room anyway. So... What? Is it this one? Well, we can go in here at least. Oh, great! There were three corpses in this room, all hanged. The left corpse seemed to have been dead for quite some time, as it had begun rotting. Hmm. The middle corpse seems to have just died, and the one on the right was already a skeleton. Beneath the three unfortunate souls, something had been scratched onto the floor. Great! Oh, this is, this is great! Some kind of cipher, perhaps? Well... What do we have here? Skeletal corpse here. The new sees somewhat frayed with the right tool of the body because he'd be dropped to the ground fairly easily. I mean, I just saved, so I mean... I guess, like... You know... The axe cut through the right panel, Lee, but it was too rusted to do much more. It more or less fell apart as soon as the body dropped, rendering it unsuitable for any further tasks. Oh shit, so like, if I've... Do I need three axes? I've only got two. I've only got two, shit. That means I'm fucked, right? Because I've only got two. The sound of a lock release... Okay, I guess not. I guess I wasn't meant to do that one. I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. So what does that achieve? Do I have to go back to the painting room now? Is there a save point up here still? Yeah. We definitely dropped that save, though. I have no idea what's happening. Like, 
I have absolutely no idea what's happening. Okay. Drop that save, though. Ow. Well, that was smart of me. So, if I can go... This should teleport me down to the ground floor. Then I go left, down, through the apartment, and then back in that room. Right? Is that... Is that what I've achieved? Whatever. We'll just try. Because I don't know if that I've achieved anything, but... This should be right. It should be the apartment. We go through the apartment. We get in that room. Something happens. Everything is... Everything is great. Hmm... This is, uh, rather unnerving all this. I'm really fucking confused, but, you know, we're getting there. Is it here, or... This This is it, right? This room here, I think. I could have forgot. I'm sorry I'm being very forgetful, guys, but, uh, you know. So what have I achieved? Anything? A picture of three hang uh yeah, we knew that already. So what what have I What have I achieved? Oh, okay, it's a cutscene. I guess I need to just to go over to that bit of the room. It is ahead. I guess we unlocked that door, I didn't even realise it was locked. Let's go. Okay. I wonder if Machida and the others were able to save Yuka. I do not know. Guess that's what we're going to go and find out now. Lovely! What a terrible smell. It's a lot different in here than it was the last time we came to the school. Yeah, though I'd rather not think about that right now. Name tag, endured septic shock, bled out from stab wound to abdominal region. This player's her. Seeing a psycho's running around. Unknown, everything from abdomen down is missing. Lovely. Oh, that was a Martuba. That's interesting. Looks like the road ends here at this door. Be careful. Well, we know that this is the way then, you know? Succumb to shock and bled out quickly following complete bisection. Bled out from removal of eyes via knife. Lovely! This is a lovely place! This is lovely! I know I'm not doing 100% completion here, guys, but... I'm not really a 100% completionist type person. <clears throat> Hopefully everything is going to be nom. Although I'm guessing everything's going to be bum. Look at the little skulls! It's nice! Beyond the red door we found ourselves in a large open space. The smell of blood and antiseptic immediately struck our noses with incredible force. So thick it almost felt like we were stepping into vis viscous liquid environment. This certainly wasn't the underground bomb shelter we were expecting. Rather, it was more or less a torture chamber. A labyrinth of terrifying pain devices and prison cells. The walls were spotted liberally with dark bloodstains, and the general feel of the room was absolutely horrific in every conceivable way. And there's lots of screams, and they're all having a shit. It hurts. God, it hurts. Forgive me. Please kill me. I'll curse you. I'll curse you! How unfortunate for you. That is the mark of the witch. <laughs> oh. Is that dude, the, the red skull dude, like from the that massacre? The Lord has spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, take mercy on this impure soul. Strike down the person with one firm swing of thy divine blade, O Lord. Sounds of deep, all-encompassing sorrow and rage echoed from every corner of the massive space. 
Some of the screams and moans of sadistic pleasure seemed to be coming from right next to us, though the room was quite dark and there were no visible presences around us. It really did sound like people were being tortured, right where we stood though. Just crossing the threshold into the room was mentally taxing beyond anything I'd ever experienced before. It was downright painful, in fact, instantly bringing tears to my eyes. Yuka, hang in there, we're coming. What is this place? I don't know, but these things all over the room really look like medieval torture devices to me. I hate to think of Yuka being stuck in a place like this. Damn it all. Yuka, say something! Yuka! Yuka! That may not have been a smart move. From the darkness came the sound of metal wheel or gear turning. Satoshi shone his light in the general direction from which the sound seemed to originate. The only thing there was a rack, as in the torture device designed to stretch and tear a person's body. It was a highly disturbing sight, but fortunately no one was tied to it. We all let out a collective sigh of release. This is bad. Despite being empty, however, the torture implement began spinning in place. Blood was flying everywhere. Is everyone alright? What is this? This stench. It's blood, isn't it? God damn it! We mustn't stay here for much longer. We need to hurry. No argument here. Right, well, there's a save point here, which is obviously uh, pretty important. Oh, okay. So this is where the Martuba term people researchers have ended up. Yeah, they're all dead down here. I don't care. Are they all the same? I just look at the last one, I guess. I just save. So fuck it. If I get too much darkening, I can always reload my save, you know? So, you know, everything should be good. Oh! These seem to be, um, bad. There's an item in there. Oh my god. I died. It was an like instant kill as well. That was great. That was great. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you want to save your game? That's what it's going to say. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't. Holy shit. Let's try that again, I guess. We did just save, so that's not that big a deal. I, I, I don't like, uh, I don't like one-shot kills. I think the technical term for them is, is bum, I think. Yeah, bum. Pretty sure. Bum. Hopefully, I just don't fucking repeatedly die here for ages. Because that's going to get frustrating as fuck. I'm not going to look at the fucking heads. Fuck that. This one's easy. I say that as I probably die in a minute. Nope, I made it. These two go at different speeds. And the problem was I ran into those objects. I had to go to the left, I think. So... Okay. There's so many little obstacles in a fucking cell. There's like a fucking skull. There is a fucking skull on the floor there that grazed my knee. And I can't walk past the skull. It's like, oh, um, oh, okay. I can't walk over this fucking thing. The real reason is that there's fucking four of us. that are all fitting into the same fucking space. I'm pissed, guys. I don't like one-shot kills. Don't have the patience for it. Don't have the patience for this shit. Fuck you, game. Let's try again, shall we? I'm nice and calm. I'm not, an I'm not angry. I'm not angry. It's fine. It's fine. Not angry at all. Not angry at all. Right. This is fun. This is this is this is uh, this is gameplay. Right. Okay. Right. So. 
Right, that's one. Done. Whatever this is, what is it? Okay, something I look like I actually need. Fuck. I was hoping it wouldn't be. And I ran into it! I fucking ran into it! <sighs> I'll be right back, guys, when I've got past this section, because... I kinda wanna punch a baby right now. Not gonna lie. Repeatedly. Because this is shit. Okay, guys. After... 15 tries... I have made it past there. I am probably still going to die, but, um, you know, let's just see. Please, a talisman. I, I, if we run into a phantom, we're fucked. Please be a talisman. Oh, thank god. Okay, right. Okay, good. Right, we have a talisman. There's a phantom that I guess I have to get rid of this fucker. Don't know what that's. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Where am I? Is this right? Am I doing the right thing? I'm fucking back here! Oh, I don't know what to do. Ah. What is this? Am I dead? Probably dead, right? I think this is probably me made a mistake, and I have to do that all over again. Yuka, are you here? Yoshiki, do you see anything behind us? Yeah, he's dead. Satoshi, what's wrong? Yoshiki's not here. They're so dead. Yoshiki, where are you? Say something! Kishinuma, say something, please! Kishinuma! Well, we're probably dead. Where could he have gone? If we were to get separated here... Yeah! What do we do, Satoshi? We should head back for now. Oh, yeah, well, okay, we're not dead. Are we? Maybe? Yoshiki! Damn it, where did he go? Kishinima, if you're screwing around, I'm going to be really mad. Hurry up and get out of here. Get out of here. We're dead. Quan's gone too. We listened for a response, but heard absolutely nothing. Save for a heavy pulsating sound that echoed through the heads like a ringing after a loud concert. I'm going to have to do this thing again. Are you alright, Naomi? Yeah, but I can hold... Can I hold on to your shirt? You bet. And don't let go. You should do the same, Miss... Yeah, they're all gone. Fuck! Miss Quan? That was a bullshit trap. No, Miss Kwan. Miss Kwan! What's wrong, Naomi? Miss Kwan's gone now, too. She was here just a second ago. What? And then suddenly... Yoshiki was in pain. I'm skipping through this because I know we're dead. Satoshi, that voice! Stop! Stop! Yoshiki, where are you? Yoshiki! Satoshi! Over there? I can't tell, there's too much echo. I heard it from over there, come on! He's gonna be in some horrific trap. Okay! I just, I just realised I'm gonna have to do that again. That took me 15 goes! Don't let go of my hand, Naomi. Okay. Yoshiki! Kishinuma! Kishinuma screams of pain sporadically punctuated the silence. That gate just opened on its own, huh? An easy feel feeling ran through me, manifesting itself as a shudder. Satoshi and I cautiously entered the cell, though we both remained close to the threshold. From there, he shone his light inside. It was a tiny cell with red runic letters written all over the wall. And standing all the way at the back was Miss Kwan. 
With wide, frightful eyes, she was staring directly at us. Miss Kwana! Satoshi lost his footing, nearly toppling over. The floor was extremely slippery. It took me a second, but I soon realised what he was reacting to. Miss Kwan wasn't watching us. She was seeing anything but more. She wasn't seeing anything anymore. Her body wasn't standing under its own weight, but rather impaled in place with four wooden spears. She was gone. The substance Satoshi had slipped on was the blood pooling on the ground from her now lifeless body. No! No! What the hell? I turned around to see Yoshiki dead as well. His throat sliced and his tongue ripped out. Yeah, we're fucked. Satoshi, we need to get out of here. We need to get out. Satoshi! I looked down. I was still holding Satoshi's hand, but that's all that remained of him. The rest of his body was gone. And then Psycho's gonna get us? I dropped Satoshi's hand and ran up the cell in panic. Kinda cool, though. Without his flashlight, anything I could see was a distant light. No, I can't take this anymore. My voice was trembling, my feet unstable, my mind a blank. All I could do was run. That was the only thing left for me. The source of the light was Solitary Bob, another small cell. Light! Oh, shit. And we stepped in a bear trap. Immediately upon entering, however, I found myself caught in a bear trap. It closed on my ankle, which triggered a cord that pulled me into the air, hanging me upside down from a now critically injured leg. It hurts! Ah! The feeling was excruciating as my untodded body weight was pulling the steel blades deeper and deeper into my ankle. It hurts! It hurts! I kept moaning and screaming, but I swung there, hoping to capture someone's attention. But no one came, and there seemed to be no easy way to free myself. I needed to conserve my energy to save my screams for when I knew they'd be heard. Or at least that's what the little part of my mind that was still functioning kept telling me. Though all the internal anguish and searing trauma. No one was coming. That much was certain. I had to do something to escape this agony. She's going to pull her leg off. Though I went against every instinct in my body, I bit my lip and forcefully contorted myself in the last ditch attempt to reach my ankle. Unfortunately, my hand just wouldn't reach. And on top of that, I could hear, and very much feel, cracking as my ankle bent under the force of the steel jaws. I lost the willpower to maintain such a painful posture. My body fell back to an upside-down vertical position, and the force of the sudden fall caused me to start swinging more. The steel blades were merciless. Tears were flowing from my eyes, drooled from my mouth, and blood from my ankle. My head was going blank under the intense pain. And the worst part was there was absolutely nothing I could do. I was completely and utterly helpless. Oh. As I screamed, I saw people who looked like medieval villagers surround me. They looked straight ahead, though they were intentionally averting their eyes to my suffering. The expressions on their faces were somehow very off. What I was seeing was like an otherworldly vision. It was neither heavenly host nor the world I knew. I had absolutely no idea where I was anymore, nor what was happening to me. In the next moment, a violent cracking sound echoed through my brain, and my field of vision began to shake and turn upside down as I lapsed into unconsciousness. I couldn't make out exactly what it was, but somebody like a crowbar had been thrown at me with tremendous force. Every bone in my body vibrated and I could feel them grinding together under the sudden impact. It was not pleasant. The vibration only lasted a moment, however, but the ground was now approaching and fast. With a thud, my vision spun. I could see the feet of the villagers surrounding me, along with my own lifeless limp arm draped across the ground. This was immediately followed by blood pouring down from my eyes like a waterfall, and then... Nothing. So yeah, um, don't touch the fog. I now have to do the bit that I struggled to do for nearly half an hour again. Be right back. I did it again, guys. I did it a fucking again. I need to get this talisman before that thing gets me. Talisman, 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 talisman. Okay, so we don't touch the thing. Just fucking die. Okay, so... Oh, I found that I didn't see this before. I'm a fucking idiot. Found the den key. Is the den this thing here? It is indeed. Oh my fucking god. Well, I hope that's the den. Didn't say I unlocked the door. Shit, did I just kill myself again? Huh, this is where Thingy was hanging out. This is where Masuda was hanging out. Finally, progress! 
Oh, okay, we got both the crystals. And I got a save. Don't have to do that again. I don't have to do that again. I don't have to do that again. Or do I? Uh, what do we have here? Okay. Uh, all right. Got a light crystal and then a dark crystal on this one, I guess. And then hopefully something amazing is going to happen. <gasps> Not quite sure if I achieved anything there. Will this have changed the layout or something? I think the black smoke must be gone. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. What's going to happen now? Hopefully not more swinging axes, because I don't think my heart can take it right now. Oh, fuck. Hi, Sachi. What's wrong? There was totally something right behind me just now. What? Satoshi flashed his flight in the direction Kishinuma had indicated, but there was simply nothing there. Seriously? That door just opened, huh? Each one of us was racked with apprehension. We slowly approached the room. Naomi, have you seen any other visions of Sachi since earlier? Not one. Okay, remember, anything can happen in here, so stay right behind me. I will, but please be careful, Satoshi. Don't worry. What's in here, I wonder? Yoshiki, you keep an eye on things outside. Well, are you seriously planning to go in alone? It's better than all of us putting ourselves in harm's way. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, but I mean, I'll... No, you won't. I'll see what's going on in there and come right back out. Fine. Satoshi, you make sure you get out there at the first sign of trouble, alright? I will. Okay, I'm going in. God, the smell is just as awful in here, and those chains make it look like a solitary confinement room or something. Hi, Yuka. Satoshi? Yuka? Yuka, it's me. Hang in there. Hey! What's going on? Satoshi, is Yuka in there? What's wrong? Did something scary happen to you? Say something, Yuka. That isn't Yuka. It was almost as if she'd forgotten how to speak. Something was clearly very wrong. Yuka! Yuka! Let's just get out of here and have an hour, Satoshi. Yeah, come on, Yuka. Get on my back. Satoshi crashed down so Yuka could ride him piggyback, but she simply wouldn't budge. Satoshi, stay down. You think you can carry her? Yeah. Seems like a really bad idea, this. Yuka, hang in there. Well, we got another save, which means something terrible is about to happen, probably. Okay. At least we just got another save point. At least we don't hopefully have to dodge any more saw blades. This is really strange. The entrance was this way, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nothing but a wall here now, though. Look, there! Oh, fuck. No way! This wall's moving. We are so in shit. This is bad. At this rate it's going, we're all going to get caught easily. Everyone, run! Okay, get ready to run. What the hell? Come on, let's go! Okay. Should I be... I don't know. Did I make it? I think I made it. That was kind of bullshit. If we get wedged in, does this mean we're trapped here? I think it's more likely we'll be squished. We need to get by the exit on the double. Oh, is there more? I see a light over that way. Come on. Right behind you. fuck is happening? Satoshi, the hallway's closing in too quickly. Let's take cover in here. 
Okay. Good. Right? Did I die? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> uh... Are we trapped? Yes, but we're in the verge of getting crushed, so this seems a better alternative. There's no way out. There's walls going to keep closing in, right? A tremendous wave of anxiety washed over all four of us. As we were trying to figure out what to do next, I found myself tripping over a sharp stone by my foot. It was in the shape of an arrowhead. I wonder what this is? Hey Satoshi, showing your light over here again? Huh? Back a little. There. Looks like it goes somewhere. Yeah, and it might be our only ticket out of this room. But how do we get that high? Even if we stood on our tiptoes, we couldn't possibly reach it. <laughs> Satoshi was scared stiff by the sudden voice right by his ear. Who's that? It's fucking Yuka. It's fucking Sachi on your back instead of Yuka, I bet you. What the? My eye, it hurts! Oh god. Nakashima! Naomi, are you okay? Ugh, I'm seeing something. What is this? You are? What do you see? Someone's back? Huh? Your back. Oh, fuck me. Yuka's eyes went completely black as she latched all her weight onto Satoshi. Her face was no longer her own, but that of Sachi. Satoshi! Yuka's... What? Satoshi! She's heavier. Wheeze! Oh, fuck. Who the hell are you? Sachi Shinazaki. I was Tachika's older twin sister. The black-eyed Yuka began to speak while clinging uncomfortably onto Satoshi's back. A vanishing twin. I've heard of cases where two twins are conceived but one dies in the womb and the other absorbs it. I was eaten by Sachiko in Mummy's tummy and erased from existence. Only my teeth remained. They were by my sister's heart, but then the doctors went in and took them out. Isn't that awful? It must seem so unfair for her only to be born safely. I want to go out into the world too. But I couldn't go out on my own, so I looked for a humor I could wear. Only they all died too fast, so I was stuck. Not this girl, though. She's perfect. She doesn't break, even with me inside. Oh, fuck. It feels so good. Humans are so nice. I'm going to experience a lot of first times with this body. While the possessed Yuki was speaking all of this from her back, Satoshi carefully and discreetly poked Miss Kwan in the side to get her attention. Satoshi? Here, Miss Kwan. Those are... In Satoshi's outstretched hand were two baby teeth. They were the teeth he'd taken from the class rep earlier. Take them, please. He didn't speak these words with his mouth, but rather with his eyes. Unfortunately for him, Sachi seemed to have caught on. And my first time, first time, will be a sibling murder. With that, she began strangling Satoshi. Don't, don't all jump in at once, guys. Yuka! It's not Yuka. We know it's not Yuka. Hey, you could stop! No, this. Let go of him, Yuka! Shit, I can't loosen her grip. How the hell strong is she? You got that stone. Please stop this, Sachi! Oh, fucking great. And just like that, she stopped. Or rather, the spiritual aspect of her vanished from our sight. She disappeared, but why? She's killing him. No, you can snap out of it. Die, 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 die. Oh, that she's like, can, like torn. No, stop! No, stop my hands! You could damn it. You can do it. You can release your hands. Mm. You can. Oh, fuck off, Sachi. Naomi, do something! If this keeps up, Satoshi won't make it. Sharp rock. There must be a reason we have it. Ah! Oh, she stabbed herself in the eye? I clutched my left eye and collapsed to the ground. 
Oh! We stabbed Sachi. This was accompanied by a sudden bloody splash from Sachi's left eye as well, accented by a raw black eyeball falling from its socket to the ground. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. Satoshi's okay. Satoshi's throat rang and rattled as quickly and held as much air as his lungs could take. Ugh. My body twitched and I continued holding my eye with one hand. The other hand then bore the arrowhead I'd used, now coated in blood and viscera. Did you do this? What were you thinking? How's Satoshi? Don't worry, Satoshi and Yuka are both fine. Thank God. <laughs> huh? Yuka? She held her own neck in her hands as her body writhed and convulsed. Her eyes had rolled back into her head, giving her almost supernatural or possibly subhuman appearance. Yuka! Stop, Kishinuma! Get her arms! Got it! Kishinuma immediately pinned her arms, doing her best to keep her still. Miss Kwon then stuffed a hand towel in her mouth. Fuck you, Sachi. Oh god, suddenly Sachi appeared next to Miss Kwan and grabbed the Ever After Stones before anyone knew what was happening. Now let go, I won't let you have them. Oh wow, go Miss Kwan. Yuka, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Yuka closed her eyes and fell dead silent. Sachi was gone as well, and a stillness descended upon the entire room. God damn it, the hell's her deal? Naomi. Naomi, your eye. It's okay. If that's what it takes to save you, it's a small price to pay. Besides, that eye was starting to give me the creeps anyway. Naomi, I'm sorry. May I take a look? Miss Quan opened my eyelid and stared intently at my injured eye. This was not a comfortable thing for her to do. You're lucky your cornea isn't damaged. That's a relief. The white area has been cut, but your vision should be fine once it heals. You want to apply pressure for now, though. Um. Hey, look, the exit came down. Naomi. Damn it, you're always taking things like this a little bit too far. Here, I'll carry you, Kusatoshi. You lend a ha Nakashima a hand. Alright, Naomi. I know it hurts, but do you think you can go on? Yeah, I'm fine. Why much innocent children like this must be forced to suffer so much? Miss Kwan surveyed the room with a general look of deep concern on her face. Oh, fuck me! Shit, it's her! We all fixed our gaze on Sachi who stood before us, cradling our eye. Damn it, what are we supposed to do now? Shut the baby teeth up her ass, Miss Kwan. Sachi, take a look at this! You bitch! What is that? It's one of Sachi's baby teeth. Shinazaki bought them here. Miss Kwan crushed the tooth beneath her fingers until it was little more than a fine powder. Miss Kwan is really something else. She then opened her mouth and ate it, just stuck it in and swallowed. Miss Kwan! Sachi, you've never been born. This world is beyond your reach. It's an unfortunate fate, but it's a fate nonetheless. Return now to your mother's womb. You come back. You can come back after you've been reborn. Oh, Jesus! She just exercised her! Sachi disappeared and stillness descended upon the room once more. Miss Kwan, what did you just do? I trapped Sachi within my body. She seemed to have mistaken me for her mother, so luring her in was easy. Oh, that's weird. Now, though, we really need to be going. We have to return to Shinazaki and I. Miss Kwan looked down at her wristwatch as if for emphasis. The seconds on it were steadily counting down, having just dipped below 3,600. And that's the end of this chapter, Imperator. We'll continue with the final chapter really soon, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful fucking day. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and I guess I'll see you really soon for the finale of Corpse Party Blood Drive. Stay tuned. Bye for now.